Well, it is chaffle time. I am about to go to IHOP and I'm going to sneak a chaffle into IHOP. You heard that right, folks. I'm going to sneak a chaffle into IHOP and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But right now I've got to make the chaffle. So I've got my handy dandy four chaffle maker and I've got two more chaffle, single chaffle makers going. So that's going to make six chaffles. I don't need six for today, but I'll save those for other days and other occasions. So let's get started. Lift up the lid. Everything is hot and ready to go. And uh, need my little spray here. Give it a quick spray. I've already mixed the, the shredded cheese and the eggs. And threw in a little bit of almond flour and the heavy cream as well. Got a nice mixture here. So this makes four chaffles all at one time. And now I'll go to my small chaffle makers and make two more and uh, that ought to be it for now. And the only thing left now is to wait for the timer to tell me that uh, the chaffles are ready. Uh, they turn out good almost every time. Uh, occasionally you could leave them in too long, they'll burn, but other than that they, they turn out great. So we're gonna have an IHOP breakfast. Why would I take chaffles? Well, we'll talk about that when we get to IHOP. The chaffle has been made. I'm going to place it in a sandwich bag. And then I always make sure that I am wearing these special pants, these uh, cargo pants, because it will fit very nicely. I don't want to walk into IHOP just carrying this in my hand looking kind of goofy. So I take uh, my cargo pants pocket, stick it in there, and I look just as innocent as a lamb. But I know that I'm sneaking in a chaffle, which they wouldn't care anyway. <laughs> but it makes it more fun to think of it that way. Uh, to eat in lieu of a pancake. See you at IHOP. All right, thank you, sir. Well, here we are at IHOP. I have my daughter, Joy, say hi to the Beat Diabetes folks. Hey, guys. <laughs> so you've probably seen Joy if you've watched all my videos, which not many of you have, but if you have, you would have seen her at least uh, twice. I think twice you've been yep. on here. Uh, how does it feel to be a smuggler? Well, very risque. <laughs> <laughs> we have smuggled chaffles in. Now it was, I don't know, maybe a year ago when I first introduced you to chaffles. Mm -hmm. We were at Walmart. I bought you a chaffle, a couple of chaffles. You bought me two, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. two. Mm -hmm. And uh, you went to town on those babies. You, you started eating them quite a bit, didn't you? I loved it. I probably had them at least every other day. Yeah? Yeah, they're great. So, uh, yeah, they are great. And, you know, you're kind of interesting because you're not diabetic. You're not even pre-diabetic. In fact, your glucose is just about perfect the last time I tested. And yet, uh, you try to eat healthy and try to kind of cool it on the carbs. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, two reasons. Number one is like if I have a lot of carbs, I want to go straight to bed. <laughs> okay. I'm just so tired. It really affects me. And I realize like when I do low carb, I have way more energy for work, my family. And so I just feel better. Yeah. Um, so that's the number one reason. And number two, I, I notice in seasons where I have a lot of carbs that I will um, gain more weight. So <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I want to stay away uh, from those carbs and putting on those pounds. <laughs> all right. So we have smuggled uh, two chaffles in. Joy has her, hers in her purse. Mine is in my pocket. And we're going to do the big switcheroo when we get our pancakes, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. Well, we will uh, let you know how things go. Mm -hmm. Joy was braver than me. She placed her chaffle boldly on the table even before the server brought out our food. I kept my chaffle discreetly hidden in my pocket until after the food was served and the server had left. Now here is the official Dennis Pollock method of converting a high-carb pancake breakfast into a low-carb chaffle breakfast. A. Take the chaffle out of your pocket or purse. B. Place the chaffle on your plate. C. Borrow the butter, or whatever this is, taking it from your pancakes and putting it on your chaffle. D. Pour on some sugar-free syrup, which IHOP always carries, but you do have to ask for it. And E. As a bonus, I sprinkle pecan bits onto my chaffle. The result is that I have a meal I can thoroughly enjoy. Instead of a 20-carb pancake plus 27 grams of carbs in one serving of the IHOP syrup, 
which totals just under 50 grams for one pancake, 70 grams for two pancakes with syrup, and a whopping 90 grams of carbs for three pancakes with syrup. I had maybe about six net grams of carbs for my chaffle, pecan bits, and sugar-free syrup. A major savings. Now, I know what some of you are thinking and maybe even saying. Dennis, you might as well stay at home. You brought the chaffle, you brought the pecan bits, uh, the eggs and the sausage you could easily have cooked up yourself. Why even bother to go to a restaurant? Well, here's a news flash for you, my friends. Life is bigger than your metabolic health. Uh, we've got to do more than just stay healthy. We need relationships. You were made, I was made to love God with all my heart and to love people and fellowship with people. We Christians call that fellowship, having time with each other. And yeah, I could easily have just stayed home and had a meal. But having a breakfast with my daughter out at a restaurant where we could relax and just let someone else do the most of the cooking anyway, uh, it was a nice time and it was an important time. What will it profit a man if he gains metabolic health and gets an A1C in the perfect range and his blood sugar is under absolute control, but he has no life? Uh, friends, we've got to have a life that involves people, that involves loving people that God has brought into your life. This world is a great big world. There's almost 8 billion people in the world. We can't know them all. We can't have times with them all. But in everybody's life, God brings a few people, family, friends, husband, wife, and we need to treasure those times and to make times where we can get out and enjoy one another. Now, if you can stay home and do that, more power to you. Uh, but to me, there's nothing quite like going out to restaurants once in a while and having fellowship there. All right, that is it. That's one of the ways I beat diabetes. I just will save carbs wherever I can. I am a carb saver, so be a carb saver. Save those carbs and get those carbs down to a reasonable level. Six grams of carbs per meal I can handle. I know I can handle. Not even any point to test my blood sugar with that low of carbs. But if I had had a regular pancake or two pancakes plus a big helping of that sugary syrup instead of the sugar-free syrup, uh, my blood sugar would have been off to the races. Be wise. And by the way, enjoy your life. Probably most of you know my wife Benedicta, but few of you know the amazing paths God has led her to bring her to where she is today. Benedicta was orphaned at an early age and lived with an elderly stepmother growing to adolescence. They were so poor, Benedicta had to drop out of school and sell food door to door for them to survive. As a teen, Benedicta got a job as a housemaid, which developed into a nightmare. She was required to cook, clean, wash, take care of the children, and she had to get up at 4 a.m. every day just to get her work started. Worse than that, she was frequently beaten. At around 20, she moved to the huge city of Lagos where she started her own little business. Sometimes she prospered, but at other times she nearly starved and went days at a time without eating. At one point, she became so sick she passed out in her room and nearly died. She found herself outside of her body and she was able to see the splendors of heaven until she was sent back with a command to share her story. One day, however, her life changed when an American evangelist came to her community to preach. And of course, that was me. The rest, as they say, is history. Benedicta has shared her life story in a recently published autobiography, and you can get it on Amazon as either an ebook or a paperback. A link to this book on Amazon is in the description.